So, at this cornerstone, God has placed, as He has said, that is the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no any other foundation apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. And the, and the, yes, and the foundation is very, very important. And we see the But they are saying on this foundation, you cannot act hastily. So as the youth, you need you must learn to wait. And right from the start, as youth. You need to have a plan because if you can manage it right, if you can manage it right, a shopping list eh? when you are going to write, you no, know, when you are going to shop, you write a shopping list. Then why can't you write also the life, the life you want to live as the youth? Because the reason why you have to write a shopping list, you don't want to be distracted. You don't want to buy what? Yeah. Which exactly. is not on the list. <laughs> so you need to have a plan for your life. And the moment, as a use when you have a plan, you will not end up with yourself in things because there is what you are pursuing as a use. That's what I can say. Amen. But again, the Bible will do that. When I wanted to marry, a lady rejected me. Oh. But also that is important. Yeah. Eh? And I had made up my mind to backslide. And remember I was a pastor. But I had made up my mind to let me backslide so that I may prove to them that there is, there is somebody who loves me. Eh? But God gave me a scripture which is in Proverbs 19, 21 which says there are very many plans in the man's heart. Nevertheless, it is the Lord's purpose that shall prevail. Proverbs 19.21 That's where I can stop. Hey, Mama Chikuru, no, I've seen somebody can propose to you, but it is disappointing you. This has become very, very, very common. That, that scripture helped me. Proverbs 19, 21. That there, are many, that there are very many, there are very many plans in the man's heart. Nevertheless, it is the Lord's counsel or purpose that shall when someone lets you down. Don't give up. Just know it was your plan as a human being. It was not God's purpose. Because the purpose of the Lord precede his plan. Eh? Because in the planning, purpose precedes his planning. Then in the planning, you need to ask, you need to seek for counsel. Proverbs 20, 18. Yes, Mongero. How many have been? No, Mongero, come in a moenda, I did my mother, but what I'm saying, Mumutima, to Murimu of Fumuti is a point. Amen. God, thank you for giving me this opportunity. God bless you. And remember, 
uh, because me, what God has called me to do, I have so far written three books. Oh, yes, very interesting books. Talking about God. Yes, I'm talking about finance because the first book I, I wrote is called "You Shall Learn Not Borrow," and yet debts have become a problem to nations and to youth, to everybody. People are heavily in debt, but I am one of the few people who is living a debt-free life and yet economically progressing. So the first book I wrote is called You Shall Learn, Not Borrow. Then the second book, How to Benefit from a Loan. Then the third book, God is the Deliverer. And when you are a youth, if you can know that message early, eh? because many people have found themselves already entangled in the debt pattern. But as a youth, if you can plan very early, because Jeremiah 29, verse 5 and 6 tells us this Build houses and dwell in them, plant gardens and eat the fruit therein, then marry, then produce. But the youth these days, for them, they begin with producing children. Yeah? <laughs> but God, as a master planner, is telling us before you produce, before you marry, first build houses, then plant gardens, fruit, eat the fruit they are in, then marry and then produce. That is family planning. Jeremiah 29, verse 5 and 6. Come on, 